There's something called case selection theory that basically aims to explain how various animal species ensure that their offspring survive. Case selection theory is founded on this constant trade-off between quality of offspring and quantity of offspring. On the quantity side of things, you have insects who can produce hundreds, thousands, even millions of tiny little babies in a lifetime. Needless to say that when you're laying that many eggs, each individual ant baby is not going to be getting a whole heck of a lot of tender love and care. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, you got whales. With some species of whale, like the sperm whale, having a single baby every five to seven years. This means that each individual whale baby is going to get a lot more parental investment. Its whale parents are going to spoil that thing like an only child. I bring this biological detour up because it brings up an interesting point about the animal kingdom. The larger an animal species is, the more likely it is to favor quality of offspring over quantity of offspring. Smaller animals like insects, rabbits, and birds can afford to have a lot of babies at once, while larger species like whales, elephants, and rhinos are much slower to reproduce. The ender dragon 